Can we talk about how there isn't even a foundation match for the arm? There are more emoji shade ranges than the shade ranges in the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. <laughs> Tarte is trying to show their diversity by including a man in this, but there's literally three dark shades. <sighs> Dear all brands, there's this thing called the internet and they will find you and they will kill you. Hello my foundation friends, I'm Beyond Grenade and you're watching Beyond Grenade today and today is not going to be your average foundation Friday because usually I'm sitting down at my vanity trying on the foundations, letting you know if you should buy it or not. But I have so much to say about this foundation that I had to stand up, like I literally could not just sit down. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't know about the latest tea, AKA gossip in the makeup community, let me get you caught up real fast. Everybody loves the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the makeup community and consumers were like, oh, I really wish they'd use the same formula in the form of a foundation. So Tarte was listening to their consumers and decided to actually make this very highly anticipated foundation. They made a matte version and a hydrating version, which is awesome. Tarte released 15 different shades for their hydrating line and their matte line. But somewhere along the lines, a little bit of miscommunication happened to where they decided to release literally three brown shades. Let me show you. Are you guys, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Who thought that this would be okay? It got so bad that Tarte had to literally disable the comments on their Instagram because, you know, we have opinions and we like to voice them. So one, you tried to shut us up, so <laughs> that didn't work. They released their apology on their Instagram story. So, you know, after 24 hours, your apology disappears just like your sales. Is it just me or are we tired of apologies? Like we had to hear the apology from Dove, we had to hear the apology from H&M, now we gotta hear an apology for Tar. It's just like, it's one thing if you literally didn't know and like now you're sorry because you didn't know, but it's just getting really, really hard to believe that you don't know. Like didn't you see how much praise Rihanna got for releasing 40 shades with Fenty Beauty. Wouldn't you, as a fellow makeup brand, be like, hey, that's a good idea. Ev everybody seems to like it. Maybe, just maybe we should do it too. That's the type of copying people don't mind. You know, people are like, oh, you know, you're jock hunter style, but uh, the black community would not mind if you copied someone's shade range. Yeah, because we want to be able to wear it, the foundation. So we, we really wouldn't mind you copying that part. Since their statement, Tarte has also said that they're going to release 10 more additional colors that supposedly were already in the works before all the controversy. They're not just making 10 more shades right now because they're under a microscope or anything. They were going to, like for real, for real. But like, we just didn't think you guys would notice. But without further ado, now that you know about all the controversy, let's talk about the actual foundation. I ended up buying the foundation. I did not get sent the PR package. They did not send it to me. And after this video, I might be messing up any chance of ever getting anything shipped to me from Tarte, but here we are. So since I have the foundation, let's see how it works. Let me show you exactly how I applied the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation to my skin. Let's do this. So here's the packaging. Tarte High Performance Natural Shape Tape Matte Foundation. The matte one has a purple top and I got the color Tan Honey. So let's see how this does. But first I am gonna use a primer. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. The packaging is really pretty. The matte one has a purple stripe where the hydrating one has a blue stripe. So make sure you look out for that so you don't buy the wrong one. I definitely had to buy the matte one because I do have very oily skin. So when you untwist it, ooh, it's pretty much just like a giant version of a concealer applicator. Hmm, it has a very smooth, creamy consistency. 
And if I go over a couple of these blemishes, it does look like you get some really good coverage. Here you go, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my actual skin tone versus with the foundation. Now let me show you how well it goes over these dark spots. One thing that I do have to mention about the applicator like this is that because it's going in and out, it's not a very sanitary thing to do. For example, I'm putting the applicator right on my skin, right over these blemishes, and then I'm putting this back into the bottle, kind of like recontaminating the entire bottle. So that's something to think about. And let's blend. All right, so here's my completed application. Surprisingly, I'm really happy with how it went on. It's very matte, it's really good coverage. Uh, this color ended up working for me right now. I could just never, ever, ever get a tan, apparently. But I also got the Shape Tape Concealer. I know I'm kinda late to the game, or really late to the game with this one, but since I have you guys here, let me apply this for the first time on camera as well. And I got Tan Sand. I hope this one is light enough. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's probably definitely gonna be light enough. That's not really the problem here. So I like to go a little bit lighter under my eyes for a highlight. Oh, that one's gonna work. Ah. Wow, I can see why people love the Shape Tape Concealer. And it goes on so smooth and it has a really thick applicator. Is this the same as the foundation? Let's, let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So the foundation applicator is a little bit bigger than the concealer one. Wow. That is some really good coverage. Well, my face is all tarted out now. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. They worked very well together. I have no creasing, no lines. I'm completely matte. They both went on smooth. Both gave me great coverage. But let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face. And we're back. Oh, I did not want to like this foundation, but it's actually really good. Ugh. It's really bugging me that as amazing as this foundation might be, I can't recommend it to everybody because you physically don't have a color that matches your skin tone. Like that hurts. That hits a nerve. Whether it's intentional or not, if you release 13 shades of white and three brown shades and say, hey, we just wanted to get this out first, that sends the message of the white colors are priority. The brown colors can wait. Oh, those are coming. Oh, we were gonna release those. Okay, but you didn't. Yeah, it's okay. Well, give, give all the white shades first and we'll just be sitting here in the back of the bus. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll wait. It shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't. So that is um, my initial thoughts on the shade range of the foundation. But I have it on right now. I have very oily skin. So what I like to do in my videos is come back at the end of the day and show you guys my results. And let's see how matte this Shape Tape foundation really keeps me. And I'm back. It is now 12.30 a.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight hours. And this is how I look. So. It doesn't look that bad. Um, there's a little bit of like lifting of the foundation here. So I know that when I blot, all this foundation's probably gonna come off. So these are some oil absorbing sheets. These are by Walgreens. You can use any brand you like. They all do the same thing. And we're gonna see how much oil comes off. Okay, so let's just pat this down. All right, first dab looks really good. Not a lot of oil. Second dab. See, this is where it's all gonna come off, all right here. Here is the oil from the second side. You will see some of the foundation came off right over here. So now that I've blotted, I think my skin looks good again. I'm back to a matte finish. I would probably continue to wear this. It did a good job. 
So now that you officially know just about everything you need to know about this Tarte foundation, I would love to know your opinion. What do you think of the shade range? How did you feel about how it looked on my skin? What do you think of my after results? Are you gonna forgive Tarte for making 10 new shades? or is it too little too late? Let's start a conversation down below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday and other beauty videos all up in between. You also can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee for daily beauty tricks and insider tips. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.